All right, today we're gonna talk about your macros. That is short for macronutrients. Pretty much anything that you eat is gonna fall between protein, carbs, or fat. That's what your diet is gonna consist of. Let's start off with protein. Protein is gonna help you with your muscle structure. It's gonna help you retain muscle and build muscle. Having plenty of muscle is so important for your overall health. It's gonna help you burn more calories, be stronger, and protect you from injuries. When it comes to protein, we wanna aim for about one gram per pound of body weight. That's your ideal body weight. So if you weigh 250, but really you wanna go to 200, you wanna aim for 200 grams of protein every day. This is the macro we're mostly gonna focus on. That is target number one, getting to your protein goal every day. Examples of protein will be meat, fish, eggs, dairy, Greek yogurt, cheese, beans, soy, and whey protein powder. The second macro is carbohydrates. No, carbs are not the enemy. You can still have them. I love carbs. Carbs are the most important energy source for almost all humans. You eat carbs, the body turns it into sugar or blood glucose, and then you store it in your liver and muscle as glycogen. That's what you use to fuel high intensity workouts, that glycogen. If all of a sudden you feel low energy or you feel like shit, you have to check on your carbs and make sure that you're eating enough. However, most people overdo their carbs. See, carbs are not the enemy, but if you eat too many carbs, you're not gonna have room in your stomach to eat the enough protein that you need. That's why always, 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 you gotta prioritize your protein first. Examples of carbohydrates are gonna be oats, rice, bread, pasta, sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, fruits and vegetables, and whole grains. Our last macros are fats. These are essential for nerve and brain health. They increase the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and vitamin K, all of which are crucial for healthy weight loss efforts. Examples of fats are gonna be nuts, peanut butter, olive oil, coconut oil, coconut, avocado, cheese, and chia seeds. So there you have your three macronutrients, your proteins, your carbs, your fats, the two most important ones, protein, then fats, then your carbs. That's how you gotta prioritize them. Then we go over to our calories. Calories are not a micronutrient, they are just a unit of energy. You eat an apple, it has 100 calories, you got 100 units of energy in you. Depending on your weight, height, age, and activity level, you have an amount of calories that you should be eating every day for either weight loss, weight maintain, or weight gain. To be able to lose fat, you're gonna have to be at a calorie deficit. Get your maintenance number, we subtract 500 or 250 calories, and that's what's gonna get you there. It is important to maintain that calorie number. It's gonna be impossible for you to lose weight or lose fat if you exceed your calorie number. You have to stay within the number. There's also a thing of eating too little calories. You want to meet that number. You want to be able to fuel your body to perform and to recover, to work out. When it comes to calories, one gram of protein has four calories. One gram of carbs has four calories. One gram of fat has nine calories. I already done all the calculation for you and you should have your calorie number, your protein number, your carbs number, and your fat number. This is just what we're starting with. Depending on the results we get and depending how your body changes, we will change the number. That's your macro and calorie breakdown. I will see you on the next video.